Hi everyone, hi world, welcome to my channel. This is your Twin Flame reading for July 12th. Um, I've been getting a lot of feelings in, re in relation to finances. Um, we both know that, we all know, <laughs> That last week the Divine Masculines are working really hard. They're having a lot of issues coming up with finances. Um, some are changing careers. Some have lost their jobs, have th lost their means for their income. And I just want to let you all know that that came up again. And it has been coming up. And the Divine Masculine is trying to release you know they're going through karmic cycles and all the purging so they are trying to release that lack consciousness and also what was coming up is poverty consciousness um a lot of the divine masculines have grown up in a family setting that they experienced a lot of poverty. So um, they grew up poor and those feelings are resurfacing now for the divine masculine. And it's triggering him to make a, dip, make a change in the way they make income, money, finances, assets. Um, so the divine masculine, what's I mean, a is reflecting and all these memories are coming up from childhood um, the times when they couldn't afford um, you know certain things that you know they wanted and um, a lot of the times they like they felt lonely and they felt like they couldn't get what they want and um, kind of like like i'm seeing like the divine masculine was like felt sorry for their family but in a sense it was like he told himself okay so like you know living in a poor family where you know you can't afford what you want um you don't always get what you you don't get what you want all the time most of the time and it's really hard to live in an environment right like that but what it does is it's programmed the divine masculine to shift his um, structure of how they make money so basically they lived this life where their parents or whoever their family could barely make ends meet and their parents either one were working very hard it's kind of like you know with the daily grind and like that sort of thing and they they when they were kids they told themselves you know and there were a lot of fighting going on between the parents by the way because of money so they told themselves you know what I'm never gonna be poor I'm going to take I'm going to do whatever it takes to never feel like this again. Never feel like I'm not good enough to have what I want. I'm not lucky. Why does uh, why do other people get to have it and I don't? So the divine masculine was programmed like this, okay? Because of poverty consciousness. Because he went through those poor times in his life when his family was poor, they couldn't afford things, he didn't get what he want, and he always was comparing himself to other people. When he used to see other people, you know, getting what they want, people who had money, and he was always, you know, basically like, what's the word for asked out, you know, and he hated that okay and he promised himself I will never feel like that again I will never go through that poor thing because it really really like broke his what's the word for it 
inner child, it made him not feel safe too. You have to understand that because when your family, when your parents are fighting over money, um, it doesn't make you feel safe. You feel like, are we going to be on the streets? Are we, what's going on? Like, what's next, you know? And for a child to go through that, that's very hard at a young age, okay? So I see the divine masculine was basically like, I'm not going to work my ass off like my parents did. No way. I'm going to go make money. I'm going to go hustle. And they started this ever since they were kids. And I don't know if your divine masculines have shared this with you or not, but that's how it is. Um, they basically are hustling for money. They're doing either illegal things or um, making money in non-traditional ways. Like they're not working like nine to five jobs in an office or whatever environment. So um, that is coming up a lot. So while they all this time have been living that lifestyle of making money hustling, the end of that is coming because they know that they can't do that anymore right now. It's the end of that. Somehow, they either realized that they can't do this with you when you are in union. They can't do this. They're making money illegal ways. They're not going to, they can't have you in their lives and do the same thing, right? So, either that or the, that way of some of them like the way of making that money has come to an end like maybe like you know the shit hit the fan with that source of income and they can't do it anymore so whatever it is they can't do that anymore they can't hustle anymore they can't you know do all the illegal things though in ways like how they made money before and um this really like reminded me of the movie Slumdog Millionaire. I don't know if you all have watched that, but your divine masculines ever since they were kids, they knew that they had to hustle. And that puts a large burden on them because when you're a child, you want to have a childhood, like a normal childhood where people, you know, you play with your friends, you know, you go to school, you hang out, like like you make memories, you play games, like you go places together, you know, um, family time. But you have to realize that when you are poor, there's a lot of things that you miss out on. And it's really sad. When I was looking at all the stuff the Divine Masculine was thinking, all the, sur all the feelings that were surfacing up, like I was bawling. And it is really sad. And it still makes me sad. Um, and it triggered me, like things came out on me actually because that have to do with finances. So since we are all purging lower, you know, chakras right now with the energies um, and trying to balance it out. So you can't just release that energy and not put it, put anything there. You know what I mean? You can't just release those imbalances or blocks or those um, old patterns, old conditioning um, that you've had regarding finances. You can't do that. So, and, and I mean, you can release it, but you got to put something there instead, right? So, that's what Divine Masculine is going through right now. You all are feeling it too. You all are being triggered in some way in regards to finances. But they're going through really a big time transformation because the way, I mean, and this I'm talking about twins in their 30s, 40s, and 50s, okay? So you have to realize this has been going on for such a long time, the way they think about finances um, and the way they have been making money all this time. So they're make they're do making a big time transformation with, you know, how they make money and their careers and their jobs and whatever, whatever kind of income, you know, whatever kind of sources they've made it from before, that's no longer. They know it's over. 
So they're trying to get out of this energy and they're trying to place foundations for them of like, okay, like I've been doing this for like 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Like how the heck do I get out of this? Like I've been doing this. Some of them have been doing this ever since they were a kid. Like I'm seeing little kids hustle. That's why I saw that movie Slumdog Millionaire because I'm seeing like, you know, little kids like hustling on the streets. Like just like, let's say, you know, buying something that's like popular amongst the kids and like selling it and making profit out like any little type of like hustling ever since you were a kid too. really cute but like and I'm seeing that and so I'm the divine masculine that's what's coming up right now they're thinking of all those times and a lot of pain is associated with this so they are trying to release all that pain that they have associated with their childhood um, when they were poor you know and the other thing that came up was because of that, that when there were children, whatever, they didn't, like, money was, like, coming and going. Because of that lifestyle that they were living, money was unbalanced. Like, you know, one minute they would have it, it's, like, fast money. Next thing they were, like, okay, I got to, you know count my you know money same thing is going on right now the divine masculine is holding on to their money because there were times that they spend it to like things that they wasted their money on like pleasures or cars or you know life the, the lifestyle that you live with like you know fast money and there were times that they really lost a lot of money and they know that they wasted it basically so now they're hanging on to all the money that they have so um and they're trying to come up with some kind of a foundation to come towards you um so divine feminines the energies you're in is this okay so i got ten of pentacles you all want you all want this marriage for sure. You all want this commitment, this forever with your divine masculines. But you also know that it's time for change, okay? And it is coming because both of you are working really hard. Both of you. It's it's a it's an effort together. I mean, not really physically together, but it's an effort on both of your parts to lay you know, foundations um, to begin your journeys together again. And it's going to be completely di different this time around. And you all, you both know that it's like one more chance kind of thing in the air. So um, the divine masculine is letting go. I got devil in reverse and I'm going to take this card in the reverse because I know that they are releasing a lot of attachments and um some of them are actually releasing addictions and this has to do with possessions too this has to do with finances also um because they've been holding on and old programming is definitely being released old programming old conditioning um karma family conditioning ancestral lineage programming um they're releasing a lot of things and this is great they are definitely purging and it's the end of the attachments it's the end of addictions it's the end of those toxic patterns that they have been living for a while it's the end of that so it's great and got this card um they're basically you know releasing and at the same time they want to put down foundations for what like structure for what they are go gonna do next you know they know they have released a lot they know it like they know they are healing for sure there's no question about it and they know that they're you know um awake they know that all the divine masculines are awake if you still think the divine masculine is not awake they are awake i promise you 
they just don't know how to absorb it like they don't know it like how we know it but they are um, I got the king of pentacles so they're in this energy they want to be the king of pentacles and some of your divine um, masculines are earth signs um, mine is but um, they want to go into this energy where they have everything like stable grounded this energy of like I can make anything happen I have done it and like structure logic at the same time you know they've been working on healing so they are trying to get into this energy which is great now they know that they are worthy of that because you have to realize the divine masculine has been going through a lot of insecurities all his life so keep that in mind um you know just have uh compassion i got this card in reverse for both of your energies so you both know that you are not going to walk away like you're not going to this is mostly for the divine mask and he knows they know that they're not gonna they're out of that energy where they like the going gets tough you know and then they just bounce that's not gonna happen anymore and they are definitely healing they are in the energy. Both of you guys are in this energy. This is both of you. And I also got this. So it's beautiful how you are both in these energies. And ugh, can't get better than this. High Priestess, you are both definitely doing the work on yourselves, on your inner selves. You are releasing pain and emotions from childhood you guys so while the divine masculine is going through all this um working hard you both are working hard this is both your energies working hard um you before you both were in an energy like you guys don't have the the sort the resources to to make things happen like you didn't know how to manifest things but you are moving into this so all insecurities are being released you are moving into this and you know now hey i have all the resources i need because i have been working on myself my inner self and I know I can make anything happen now. It's all, you know, in the mind. And now I know that I'm going to move forward with my heart. Divine Masculines are really going through a crazy transformation. Their heart chakras are, like, opening up like nobody's business. And they know now that they have to go forward with their heart. Um... This is big for them because the Divine Masculine has always, always been a logical person. They haven't been heart-centered, you know? And um, now they know that they're opening their heart. They are going to have the resources to, you know, do whatever they want to do to make this union work, okay? So they are moving into this energy right now. You both are healing. It's beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. I have allergies um, really bad. Um, the outcomes, I mean, you can't, like, I can't even tell you guys what the outcome. It's crazy. Okay, so I got this. I'm going to show you one at a time. So I got Ten of Wands, okay? Release of burdens because both of you have felt like you have all these burdens. Divine masculine more. Releasing a lot of burdens. Um, and the burdens are not only physical, like in the sense of like financial burdens. It's also emotional burdens. Like when you're in pain, releasing pain, okay? Um, and it's the end of this. So this is a beautiful card that coming out of this, you know, ten of wands energy. Then I got the king of cups and the lovers. So divine masculine is 
practicing on their own how to be the king of their emotions because they've been keeping it inside for such a long time which has caused them anger and resentment and um, you know blowing up on you on others you're not the only one um, short temper that short fuse um, is no longer gonna work and they know that so they are trying to move forward in this energy with the king of cups I got lovers you all know that this is you know divinely orchestrated orchestrated this union so great cards to have um, and I also got um, five of wands so end of conflicts seven of wands I mean pentacles both of you are working really hard you, this is the outcome you both know that you got to work hard for this union it's not easy right we all know this right now I mean it's far from easy and you both are going to work hard for this union because you know you trust in it you know you trust in this journey so it's the end of conflict though between you both definitely and you just know you're gonna work hard you know you can't just wait and expect things to happen you can't just pray for your union and do nothing about it so you all are you know working on yourselves you know most of you are and it's great because you will see the progress soon very soon I mean I feel like like any minute I mean not any minute but like any day now you guys will are going to have something um and this all this the end of burdens um divine masculine learning how to be with his emotion both of you actually um divine feminine i have i want to tell you all something some of you have had problems with expressing yourself to divine masculine also so it's not only the divine masculine um so you are learning how to express yourself more too because when you work on yourself okay with your healing when you start loving yourself more then you love your truth so you love what you're gonna say so then you start speaking more freely okay and um, all this hard work this end of burdens all the releasing and purging all all of it all the end of conflict is bringing you to justice okay is bringing well okay <laughs> I hope you all can okay there it is yeah justice and lovers I mean how much better can that get how much better can this get and um the other thing I wanted to tell you all is For the Divine Masculines who, like, they know you both are meant to be together, but they're going to get, like, they're going to get hit like a thunderbolt really soon. And this, there's eclipse going on, um, depending on where you are in the world, any, maybe, um, very soon, like, after this video is posted. Um, between now and the next coming weeks, Divine Masculine is going to get really hard like a thunderbolt with um, <laughs> with like he's going to be somewhere or it could be anything like or he's going to be at home but he is you know what like that feeling you have when you're like somewhere and you see all these couples together and it reminds you of you know your your you know love and you're just like oh, why couldn't they be next to me right now or whatever it is or see like why do they have to go mess it up you know or something like that divine masculines are definitely gonna get hit like that and they're gonna be thinking I, oh my God, like, 
this is so meant to be and they're gonna have this epiphany of like like they want to come running to you so bad but they know that they can't come with that energy but they're gonna know like it's gonna hit them they're gonna be at an event or they're going to be like somewhere where people know you and they know them and someone's gonna say something or like they're gonna realize the void of you not next to them and everything is gonna like come for circle and they're gonna have this epiphany of like all these synchronicities all these pieces of the puzzle and it's gonna like sh I, I I'm seeing it like shooting them like um, like lightning like when you have this aha moment of like oh my god it's gonna really hit divine masculine from now and after the solar eclipse I mean after the solar eclipse I mean I'm thinking of it as now solar eclipse next coming weeks they're gonna have this aha moment and I'm telling you they're gonna be struck like like lightning of everything and they really are because um, I'm seeing them like struck by light like light to the, the whole situation your whole union everything you went through and they're gonna realize that all of it had a higher purpose to it and ha, I love it new love and enchantment okay um, reminder the new love when you you both re, you reunite it's gonna be a new beautiful love it's not gonna be like no more pain no more stuff it's not gonna be easy I mean you we all got the bad part out like the hard part I should say of separation so it's it's gonna be a new love they just want you to know that oh and the other thing I want to let you all know be open with this new love when you get back with your twin be flexible be open okay because it's going to be different i'm all preparing you um it's not going to feel familiar okay it's not going to be you know back and forth back and forth like it's not going to be the same cycles you keep repeating you know it's going to be new and it's going to be great but be flexible, be open, um, enchanted. I love this card. Um, it's like, you know how you were a kid and when you were a kid <laughs> and you felt like when something new comes along and you have that feeling of like that newness, like that butterflies and like you know, the wind's like blowing in your hair, whatever, like that kind of a feeling. That's how this new love is going to be. So it's awesome. But remember, rem um, remain flexible and open because this is going to be different. It's going to be something you're not, you're not familiar with. And it is out of your comfort zone. It's not going to be out of your comfort zone, okay? So, um, yeah, ending of hostilities. There's not going to be any more fighting. The conflict, you both went through a lot of drama, um, but it's the end of that. So, and it's the end of you all fighting with yourself, the divine masculine fighting with themselves because of change. A lot of them have been resisting this healing, you guys. So, higher self is coming in there. And for the ones that are losing a lot of sleep, because I see a lot of them awake, like all oh night. Um, the divine, ma the higher self has come in and basically knocked them out. Like I mean, knock them out, put them to sleep, because this is they need this for healing. They need this because they need to release all those lower energies, all the lack all the blocks that are keeping them from coming to you and for their you know um ascension so oh yeah <laughs> okay 
Healing Temple path. Yep. There is healing. It's beautiful. They have so much support. Divine Masculine has so much support right now. Like, I'm seeing them in bed and they have all this light around them like they are getting so much support for this healing that is, that is taking place for the purging all the old ways of thinking um old patterns and we got archangel michael with um the first chakra which is the root chakra which is what i was talking about um that has to do with lack consciousness poverty consciousness um like toxic energies, karma. So this is what they're working on. If you divine feminines are feeling this too, um, you all know where this is, like near your genital areas. Um, it can come in different forms. So just think about it. Um, I don't want to TMI right now. Um, you are feeling what the divine masculine is going through okay all this purging um of the first look the root chakra okay and archangel michael is helping definitely and i got healer of all ages so your divine oh my god i don't even see this healer of all ages and archangel raphael um he helps people with healing he is amazing and he's helping divine masculines and you also divine feminines open up your heart chakras um and forgive um releasing anger and you know um releasing your fears with the you know with um being intimate again this doesn't have to only be sexual. I mean, intimate in general with divine masculines, okay? Some of you still have some fear. Um, I'm feeling that. Um, if you still do, if you're still in the process of like, um, should I get back with them? Should I not? If you're still in indecision because um, of fear that you have in your heart, you think it's going to get messed up again, um, your heart chakra might be blocked and you can check out my love meditation hypnosis that will help you a lot with forgiveness and letting go of anger and resentment um, it works on all the chakras okay so check out my other video love meditation hypnosis okay and it's a guided meditation um yes so there's so look at all this healing going on look at all this support i mean you have so much divine support, both of you. It's amazing. And this, I got the thinking woman. So yeah, you are, you, some of you are thinking about, you know, how to move forward, how to get, how to get out of a space you're in. It could be anything. It could be um, physical. You're feeling a lot of physical symptoms associated with divine what divine masculine is feeling now and they are completely getting worked on with their chakras so you're feeling any physical symptoms like i said try my love meditation hypnosis there is so much good stuff coming in and oh, i forgot to show you all this look we got this twice king of cups Divine Masculine is definitely moving into King of Cups energy and King of Pentacles, which is great energy. Um, the outcomes are great. All it's saying is hard work pays off. Okay? Hard work. End of, you know, Five of Wands, by the way. I don't know if you all can see this. Five of Wands. Um, end of Conflict. Divine Feminine Masculine Lover's Card and End of Burdens with the Ten of Wands. Okay. End of Burdens. Um, moving into the King of Cups and Justice. 
can't get better than this, you all. So I hope you all are healing and you all are feeling well. And you all continue to work on yourselves. Eclipse is any hour now. I think it's, I mean, I don't know where it is on your end of the world, but mine is, I got like about eight hours left or something. Um, so just, you know, if you, wherever you are, whenever you're going to think, just try to be um, centered. Try to meditate. Um, when this happens, you're going to feel a lot of things coming up. If you already haven't, I've started feeling things like like five days ago. Um, I get, I'm really sensitive to um, like solar and moon um, energy. So if you feel it in your body, um, please work on yourself. Work on your chakras. Get rest. Rest is so important. Okay. Um, try not to work long hours or stay up and um yeah so this is great um releasing the land consciousness poverty consciousness of uh, laying foundations and laying solid foundations down and the divine masculine is just preparing to come to you okay and they're gonna get that you know lightning um with the epiphany of you know, um, that everything was like a puzzle to them and they know for sure. They're going to get that aha moment like, oh my God. Like, I got to go charging to my divine feminine. They're going to have that. And um, it's wonderful. So everyone, take care of yourselves. Um, please, um, this is a really important time to take care of yourself. So everybody take care of yourself so you feel okay. Get rest. Um, drink plenty of water. Um, water with lemon really helps too with cleansing <clears throat> um, your inner. And then um, other thing is work on your chakras, okay? Um, there's a lot of energies and most of you are very sensitive to this. So you're going to feel it when even your divine masculine is going through that. He's going through more right now than you are. I don't want to compare, don't get me wrong, but he is going through more because you already ha started going through this a while back, okay? So divine masculines are going through a lot. So have compassion. Um, patience is coming in, patience. Um, have patience because it's the ending of all the operating from the lower chakras, okay? So I wish you all well. I hope you are all healing also. 